well um for okay so i already shared this on youtube but amazon <laughs> hi ladies i'm live streaming in two different places so you may hear me refer to youtube or amazon but we have some really good effortlessly chic Amazon fashion finds in store for you today. You know how you can like look at someone and they're very well put together and everything about their look just seems so effortless. I really, well, let, let's back up. Make no mistake, it is not effortless. I feel like intention needs to be behind any look that, that looks um, very well done. So there's definitely some thought and intention behind there. So it's not completely effortless, but I wanted to compile some Amazon fashion finds that I already owned that kind of give off the illusion of the effortless look. And I feel like when you, when you style these pieces with the, with, with anything really, it elevates the overall look and it really just creates that effortless kind of aesthetic like you cannot go wrong with any of the pieces that I am about to share with you okay so the first one that I want to share is oh no I lost connection on YouTube okay sorry about that YouTube okay so the first piece that I want to share is this it's called a Shaw but for whatever reason they have it listed as a poncho on here we go they have it listed as a sorry i don't know what's going on with my internet um they have it listed as a poncho on the listing but it's actually a shawl it is beautiful very simple has like a large plaid pattern just a beautiful cream and black combination it's a great layer but definitely doesn't add a lot of warmth it's fairly lightweight and I really just love the way that it can kind of elevate your look. Obviously, <laughs> I wouldn't style it over this white sweater right now, but if you had maybe a black turtleneck, which is something that we'll be covering here in just a bit, you can throw this over it to create kind of, you know, a really effortless kind of fall outfit. And not to mention, it's something that is never going to go out of style. You don't have to worry about something like this being too trendy because it is definitely more of a timeless piece and I will wear it into the winter styling it <laughs> styling it over a sweater because it doesn't add a lot of warmth so you, so you want to make sure whatever you're lay layering it over is very warm but it's a great piece great effortless look if you're wanting to go for it, something like that and it's something that you can either wear with your more formal outfits, uh, maybe over a, a dress of some sort, or you can wear it as a more everyday kind of look as well. Okay, the next one is a no-brainer, and you ladies are going to agree with me on this, but a blazer is one of the best pieces to incorporate into your wardrobe if you're looking for that effortless or elevated look and if you don't already own the blake blazer from amazon it's by the drop you need to get this one in your closet it is a little bit more fitted i size down in this so it's a little bit more fitted on me otherwise i would put it on over my sweater so you ladies can see how it fits but it is so flattering. I actually prefer it to be a little bit more fitted because I think that when you have too boxy of blazers or they're too oversized, it creates more of a masculine look in the outfit. And that's really not what we're trying to create here with these um, effortless and elevated kind of feminine looks. So I, I really love the fit of this. It has more of the slim fit throughout the waist too, which I definitely feel like is more flattering for women. And overall like material <laughs> fit aside, the style material and everything about this blazer is perfection. I love it and I own it in two other colors as well. And it's probably 
one of my most worn blazers that I own. But if you layer a blazer over literally anything, that's what I love about blazers. Like you can put them over a t-shirt and jeans and sneakers and elevate the look, or you can layer it over, you know, a blouse, like some sort of nice dress shirt and a pair of work pants or, you know, a really elevated workwear, business casual or business professional look. So I love the versatility that blazers offer and that you can literally style them with with anything there's not much that they don't look good with okay so another piece that i definitely feel like creates more of an effortless kind of look especially in the fall is the sweater dress and i love that it is such a simple piece literally it's like a one and done kind of outfit all you have to do is accessorize maybe throw on some gold jewelry like the gold hoops that I have here um, if you wanted to dress it up you could do maybe like layering necklaces excuse me and then you could also of course layer with it this would be a great example of you know something you could layer the blazer over it you could layer the shawl that I just shared over it um, to add a little bit of depth and dimension but at its core the sweater dress is one of the easiest pieces to style and creates just an effortless look and i really love this one in particular because it has such a great fit to it it is more um i wouldn't call it body contouring but it's definitely more fitted it definitely is going to hug you in all of the right places but the material has stretch in it so it, you can definitely like move around you don't feel like you're you know stuck standing straight up like a pencil and it is the perfect length whether you're wanting to wear it out for maybe like a date night or going out with your friends or wanting to style it and wear it into work you definitely have either option because it's more of that I wouldn't even call it a midi length. I would say it's more um, probably like knee length for me. Um, and I love this dress so much. I went back and I bought it and I think I own it in the apricot color as well. But it's beautiful, love the quality. I wear it all the time. And again, another great versatile piece to build out effortless outfits around. Okay. So I want to talk, oh my gosh, it's like getting hot in here. I've been freezing all morning and now it's hot. Um, I want to talk to you about material because when it comes to material in the fall, there are really two that we start to see and wear a lot of. And the first one is going to be like a silk or satin. And the next one would be leather or faux leather. <laughs> um, so I have a few bottom options in both of those materials that I want to share with you. A, because the material is right on par for the season that we're in, but B, because I think that incorporating this material really kind of creates, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It creates more detail in your outfit. So if you have your typical, you know, cotton or polyester top or whatever it may be, then you can incorporate it and maybe make it a little bit more formal or dressy by incorporating or styling it with the um, satin material. So it's a beautiful option all around creating the effortless looks and of course just wearing it in general in the fall. Okay, <sighs> these pants have got to be one of my favorites they are by making the cut and they are just a beautiful satin let me find these so i can highlight them on amazon they are a beautiful satin wide leg pant and they i style them and i wear them all the time they are so flattering i absolutely love the way that they fit and the material, I wish you all could jump through the screen and feel like how soft 
this material is. It's so beautiful. And then of course, because it is that satin material, it definitely has a lot of movement. It's not too structured. And I feel like that kind of, that kind of flow kind of gives off that feminine, that, that effortless um, aesthetic as well. But they are super flattering. If you are looking for a good satin wide leg pant, I definitely recommend these. There is elastic on the back of the waistband, which makes it so that you can um, adjust, of course, the waist and it's going to be something that can move with you and not uh, create any sort of like muffin top or, you know, any sort of poofing or bulging around the waist, which we ladies do not want. We avoid that like the plague. One last thing that I will share about these pants is that they have pockets, which I know sounds silly, but I actually really like. Anytime that I have the opportunity to wear pants with pockets, I do. Whether it's my phone or my keys or whatever it may be, I always find myself with something in my hands that I need to shove into a pocket to open a car door or to do something else. So I love the convenient factor of the pockets. Okay, so I have a few satin midi skirts that I'll be sharing. The first one is, I actually think that I shared this on my last live stream, but I really do love it. It is more of a fitted or pencil style midi skirt. Let me come back so you all can see. Um, and then it has a beautiful side slit, which really elongates the legs. And if you are styling this with maybe over the knee boots or knee high boots or heels of some sort, you're, you're creating that really effortless, that really elegant, um, that really classic fall look. So I love the satin midi skirt for that reason. And then the side slit, of course, is a great way to show off leg, to show off your favorite pair of boots or create the elongating um, effect of the leg. Okay, so I love, the, I love the style and the fit of this midi skirt first and foremost above this midi skirt but I love the material of this midi skirt a little bit more. It's more of your traditional, um, what we think of when we think of like satin or silk. It's a really, really um, good material. So I love this and I really love the way that it fits. It definitely has a little bit more flow and a little bit more movement down at the bottom, which creates a more feminine effect and I love the way that it looks with a, maybe like an oversized sweater like this tucked into it and a cute pair of heels, which I'll also be sharing as well. <laughs> and again, everything, um, if you're watching on YouTube, I have a few of the links down in the description below, but I also have a link to my Amazon Live and you can actually hop on there. And I have a, every item that I'm talking about will be highlighted making it a little bit easier to shop if you're interested in that. But such a beautiful piece, and I love the femininity of it as well. Okay, so I am obsessed with this. I love two-piece sets in general. I think that they're a great way to have that effortlessly chic kind of look and really be comfortable, really be cozy, but still look very well put together. And when I found this set on Amazon, I had to have it. Actually, it sat in my cart for, I don't know, a few weeks probably. And one of my friends actually ordered it and shared it on TikTok. And when I saw it on her, I loved it. I, it was so flattering. The way that it fits is so beautiful. If you're interested, you can go to my um, Amazon storefront and I actually just shared photos of um, me wearing this and then also a video so you can kind of get a feel for how it fits and how it hangs but very flattering set overall it is it comes with just a beautiful um cropped sweater and then this gorgeous 
I would say maxi length um, skirt. And honestly, like hanging it up right now from the hanger and sharing it with you does not do it justice, but it's beautiful material, um, very stretchy, definitely allows for a lot of movement. And I absolutely love the color of it. I think I actually may have shared this already now that I'm saying this, but it's very hard to master like the beige or the tan because it can either come out too pink or too yellow. But this is the perfect beige color, like a beautiful neutral. I absolutely love everything about it think I might go back and order it in black actually uh, because I've been wearing it so much since I got it anyways but the two-piece set notoriously whether it is a skirt you know for the bottoms shorts or pants are going to be a great way to look very put together whether you're going for a more casual look or you're going for a more dressy look you can still look very well put together depending on how you accessorize so all it takes is maybe like a good elevated handbag which we also have and will be covering or um, you know a pair of heels or something a little bit more elevated to take a two-piece set and make it a little bit more formal something that you can wear to work something that you can wear out on a date or you can you know leave all of those accessories aside and then maybe do boots or sneakers or something more casual for an everyday outfit. So if you ladies have not already got on the matching set kick, I love Amazon for that reason. I feel like they have some of the best sets on there and they are, yeah, they're fun and they really take the thought work out of getting dressed. All you have to do is figure out whether or not you want to dress formal or dress casual and which accessories go best with that to create that look. Okay, so I love a good, I don't even know if I would call this a trench coat, but but really like the front kind of the, the <laughs> um, wool coats with like the lapel in the front. You can see the lapel detail right here. They are so elevated and I really, loved this one in particular. I think I've had it for about two years. I love this one in particular because the material, it, I can't, I'm not sure if it's wool or faux wool, but again, it's a versatile piece that you can dress up or dress down. And whether you're needing something for warmth and you're just looking for a really warm outer layer, or you're wanting something to be a little bit more intentionally um, effortlessly chic to help you look put together, then I highly recommend this coat. It has been my go-to for, I think I wore it all year last winter, and I just love it. I love the way that it fits. Not to mention, it is very, it creates a very slimming effect. When you have something like this, as you can see, like my sweater is oversized and doesn't uh, really do much for my figure, but <laughs> If you are trying to avoid looking wide or take any attention away from your waistline, having something with a narrow straight line down the front, kind of similar to the illusion that the coat um, is creating right now, creates a very slimming effect. And if you want to go one step further and really try to highlight your curves, then you can even button it. Oh, I can't get mine buttoned. Um, and that will create kind of kind of like a waist cinching effect there around the waist. Okay, but I love, love, love this coat and I wear it all the time. And again, I could be wearing like sweats under here, but if I throw it on, like it instantly elevates the look, which I love. Okay, so we talked about material earlier and I wanna share a few faux leather pieces that I have with you. One of them is great because it's actually a piece that not a lot of women own or really think to style, but they are so fun and you will, you will get so many compliments styling them. Okay, so faux leather pants, whether it's faux leather leggings, whether it is, um, oh, thank you, Sandra. 
um, whether it's faux leather leggings or actual faux leather pants, these are a great bottom or go-to in the fall. I particularly love these by Blink NYC. They have mastered the faux leather material. It literally feels just like genuine leather. Like I could not believe <laughs> the quality of the material. And I love that, um, I love the way that they fit. They have, I think that they, it says that they are wide leg, but they definitely have more of like a flare down at the bottom, which actually works well with boots since we are in the middle of boots season. Yes, my sweater is from Amazon. I'm sorry I don't have it listed on this live stream, but I think I do if you want to go back and check my um, sweaters for fall live stream, it should be in there. Um, but they have such a great fit. They literally like hug every curve and I, they have stretch, which I can always appreciate because it's like, I don't like anything that makes me feel too restricted or like I can't move at all. Like I, if I have something tight on me, I want to make sure that I'll be able to, that it will be able to move along with me. Um, so love the material, love the style, love the fit of these. And I really, overall, I love the Blink NYC brand. It's an excellent brand. And I have found myself really gravitating towards a lot of the items that they have on Amazon. And especially right now, because they do have a lot of faux leather and faux suede items. So it's a perfect line and brand to shop in the fall. Okay, so the next piece that I want to share with you is something that a lot of women don't really think about or think to style. It's so funny though. I was actually out to lunch with my friends a few days ago and we were talking about faux leather shorts, but they both have amazing styles. So I feel like they're definitely, um, definitely very, like very stylish women who would know like how to style or even to buy uh, faux leather shorts, but faux leather shorts are probably one of the most underrated pieces. They can be styled essentially however you would style a faux leather mini skirt. And what I love about them is you can actually style them in late fall and early winter by layering under them with a good pair of tights, whether it's regular tights, fleece line tights, whatever the case may be. They are such a fun piece to style in the fall. And I feel like if you are, like if I were to put this together with my oversized sweater kind of tucked in a bit, and then maybe some tights and my, my, my new boots, <laughs> then um, that's like an effortlessly chic look. It didn't take me too much to create. And it's a few simple pieces that I have styled and put together to create a really effortless outfit with. And I love these. I love the way that they fit. They're not too tight. Um, and when I say that, I mean like they're not too like um, tight fitting. Um, they, I feel like they have the perfect fit, kind of like a tailored short fit, which if you saw any of my Amazon lives over the summer, you know that I am a huge fan of tailored shorts. Like I don't even wear denim shorts anymore because I'm all about the tailored shorts look, but great piece to create effortless outfits, effortless fall outfits and styles with, and really like just kind of like a fun piece to play around with and really kind of set your fall wardrobe apart from most other women. I have one more pair of pants that I want to share with you only because they are the f my favorite pair of pants that I think I have ever purchased on Amazon. Let me find them on my Amazon live stream really quick so I can highlight them for you. Here we go. I purchased them in, oh gosh, a few months ago, maybe the spring. And I love them so much. I went back and I ordered them again in a khaki color and they just have such a flattering fit. I prefer more of like that trouser fit or that trouser style as opposed to like a true wide leg. So I love my for my pants to be more fitted um, right around my waist and my hips and then to taper out. 
I think that it's more feminine that way. I don't really like it when they're too baggy. I, that to me creates a more juvenile or more masculine look and I'm not really into that. So I love that these really kind of hugged your, hugged your waist and your hips and then had a beautiful tapering out. And they are, they look great with boots and they look great with heels. Now I will say they do run very long. Like I am 5'5 five five with fairly long legs and they can still drag on the floor for me if I'm not wearing like higher heels. Um, so if you are on the shorter side, you may want to plan to get them hems, but honestly, for the quality of these pants and the incredible fit that they have, it's, and I think, yeah, they're under $40. It would, it would definitely be worth it, in my opinion, to pay the $10, the five or $10 to get the, the, um, bottom hemmed. And they are already, they, they kind of have like a folded hem down at the bottom, with a fairly loose stitching, so they would be really easy to take in. Um, I don't think it would be too much of a challenge at all. Maybe you are even good enough to do it yourself. I'm not, but maybe you are. So if you're looking for, like, I feel like the black trouser pant is just a timeless closet staple that you can create so many effortless looks around. I've worn them for date night. I've worn them to work. I've worn them for every occasion pretty much and every time I wear them they look incredible with everything that I styled them with and again I cannot I cannot get off my soapbox about how much I love the fit okay I'm making sure I didn't skip over anything <laughs> all right so moving on I want to share one of my latest loves and that is this super long duster cardigan. It is beautiful material. I absolutely love the thick knit material, very high quality and a good stretch to it. I ordered it in black originally and I loved it. <laughs> so I went ahead and I ordered it in this beautiful cream color. Um, I really just love the way that it fits. I feel like these longer layers create a really effortless and sophisticated kind of look. And I I think that not only are they great for warmth, but adding the different layers creates more dimension to your overall look, which means it, create, it can create like a focal point for people who are, you know, skimming the crowd and they're like, oh my gosh, like even, especially if you have a color contrast with something like this, like I think I wore it with all black so the duster itself really stuck out, but the length also adds to the dimension and to the detail of the overall look. So it's very eye grabbing. It's very just flattering in general. And again, it has kind of the same effect with the straight line down the middle, creating that slimming effect. If you ladies are interested in that as well, that's a fun little style tip for you that <laughs> I like to throw out this time of year because we're all layering and we're all piling on the cardigans and the coats. Okay, so I said that I would talk about a turtleneck and I will because I think that a turtleneck, anything with a high neckline is going to be something that really adds element and element, elevation and sophistication to your look. And I love this ribbed turtleneck top. I own it in three colors. And I, yes, I am, a, I am guilty of buying the same thing and mul multiple times in multiple different colors, but it's a great underlayer. It is a great um, top to style by itself. I actually wore this with my fall leather pants that I just shared for a really effortless, probably one of my favorite looks that I've worn so far this fall. But it's great for basics, it's great to layer with, and it's just a good top to have in your closet overall. Again, it has the versatility. You can make it a little bit more casual because it is more of like that cottony, stretchy material, or you can always dress it up for work as well. But I can, I think I share this in every live. And I also have the tank top sleeveless version of these that I wear 
in the spring and in the summer as well. Okay, last piece, and I know that I've already shared this a ton. You ladies may have already seen this, but I have to share it again because I love the fit of this sweater. Sometimes crop sweaters can have, I don't know, it's a very strange fit to me, but I think this one is great. It's not too oversized or too loose around the waist. Sometimes if it's more boxy around the waist, it can create kind of the opposite effect of what we want to have and, you know, really like take away from our figure rather than add to it. But it is loose enough that you can still do like a beautiful front tuck or side tuck into your jeans, skirt, or whatever kind of pants you are styling it with. So if you're looking for a really good sweater, and I know I said cropped, it's not actually that cropped. I think it hits me right at my hip bone. So it's not something that you have to worry about showing your midriff, midriff or anyone seeing your midsection if that's not what you're into. But you will absolutely love it if you get it, I promise. I think, again, this will be another piece that I will go back and order in black as well because I found myself really wearing it so much. I actually styled it with one of the satin midi skirts to create a really effortlessly chic um, look and I loved it. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear it again today actually. I have a Pilates class coming up here in a bit but um, after that, after I change out of yoga pants, then you know I change into something nice. Okay so I have a few accessories that I want to share with you. And I feel like handbags are really the, like one of the best things that you can do to, to add detail to your effortless look. Like I love a good handbag and these have to be my two favorite of the season. This one I've raved about for over a year because I've had it forever. It's by Scarleton and it's, they're one of my favorite um, handbag brands to be honest but I love how the scarf detail really elevates the overall piece like I feel like it's something so simple but it creates detail creates that focal point um that we were talking about earlier it's an attention grabbing you know um uh factor and I just I love it and I think that carrying something like this even with the most basic of outfits like I have on right now like oversized sweater and leggings very simple but it can really elevate the look and create more of that effortless um aesthetic that we're trying to reach okay and houndstooth oh my gosh I love houndstooth for the fall and for the winter it's one of my favorite patterns it's actually one of the only patterns that I will wear or style at all but it's so perfect for fall and winter. It has a beautiful, I would say it's like a faux wool material. And it's such a complimentary accessory. It is like, it goes, I mean, the color combination goes great with everything. And I think that they even have it available in black and white as well. But I just love, love, love this handbag. I will, it actually does have like a, a hand chain and then a shoulder strap as well. But I style, I wear it as like a handbag or a clutch. Like I don't like the strap part. So I love this. And it's a good way to add a little bit of detail and really elevate your the effortless look that you are creating with it and then the last thing that I will share are heels and I know that well actually I already shared my my new boots you ladies on Amazon can't see but I do have them in the carousel they are my new knee high boots by the drop I love them to death they here we go they're such high quality and they feel just like real leather. Um, okay, so heels. I have shared this before, but I, I'm a firm believer that heels are one of the best ways to elevate your outfits and to create a more feminine look. And I stand by that. You don't have to wear high skinny pointed heels like this 
if you can't. There are other options out there. In fact, a kitten heel, something that's either short or wider, make it very easy for you to walk in. So if you, if you cannot do a, you know, skinny stiletto heel like this, then don't worry. You can always work your way up to that. It's really, it comes down to ankle strength, that's it. And I think I've been wearing heels for so long that um, my ankles must be like <laughs> very strong because I, like I wear heels all of the time, no problem. Um, and it actually feels weird for me to wear flats, but you can either work your way up to a heel like this, or if you have no desire to, then opt for something that is shorter or wider to make it easy to walk in. If you have a wider base, it, it, it really doesn't feel like you're walking in heels at all. Um, so another little style tip for you ladies, if you're looking to incorporate a more feminine detail or elevate your outfits at all, then I would recommend trying that. I'm sorry I don't have any um, shorter heels shared, but I know that you can find them on Amazon. Um, and I really like, I love the style of these patent leather heels. I feel like it's something that every woman needs in their wardrobe because they are, I mean, they're one of the most flattering shoes. Like everything about this heel is perfection. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a Steve Madden shoe. So you know, it's going to be good quality. You know, it's going to have great fit and they hold up very well. I've had the tan for about a year and a half and I wear them pretty much every fall and every winter. So I ordered, I went ahead and ordered it in black, even though I already have a pair of black patent leather pumps, I went ahead and ordered it in black in the same style because I actually prefer this a little bit more. I think they're a little bit more feminine and really like overall have, have more of a timeless look to my other pair. And I love them. I would recommend sizing up a half size in any heel that you're wearing to give your feet some wiggle room. You don't want them to be too large that you are, your feet are sliding out of them as you're walking, but you also don't want them to be too tight, especially because if you are in a heel and your foot is at a slant, it tends to creep down and you don't want, you know, all of that crowding happening around the front of your foot. But <laughs> back to the heels. I think that these are a great addition to every effortless woman's closet. If you are looking to be more feminine, more stylish, then I would definitely recommend getting these. Okay, with that said, I will go ahead and wrap up this live stream on YouTube and Amazon. Thank you for hanging out with me today, ladies. I hope that you found some really good Amazon fashion finds that you can incorporate into your wardrobe and create more effortless and chic and elevated looks with for um, the fall. And then I um, have quite a few elevated basics that I'll be sharing next week um, for fall and winter as well that you'll definitely want to make sure that you tune in for. So whether you're on Amazon or YouTube, you'll want to click that follow or the subscribe button to make sure that you get notified whenever that live stream is happening. Okay, I'll see you ladies next week.